Hey guys, I'm making this video because I'm going to show you guys how to remove anodization from aluminum parts. It's got a bin filled with water just over the highest part. Um, I used uh, hangers just so I could pull the parts out and move them around if I need to. Um, pretty simple. I use lukewarm water to start. This is what I this is what I prefer is drain crystals. You can get them at Walmart. It's like five bucks or something like that. So we're going to add those to the bin. We take all the parts out first. And I'll put on some gloves and I'll do that and I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. So we I'm using these drain crystals here. You have to make sure the active ingredient is caustic and you'll see it right there caustic that is the active ingredient that's what we need the reason why i don't use easy off or oven cleaner is because it has glycol ethers in it which can pit the aluminum so you uh, got about four maybe five gallons use about half a can you start to see the reaction right away. Use a simple, don't let your wife or girlfriend see me do this. Mix it around. And then let's add some parts. You're going to start seeing a little bit of reaction. It's going to take some time. It's now 1031. So I'm going to let this sit probably for about five or 10 minutes. And as soon as I start to see some reaction, I'll turn it back on. Okay, it's been about two minutes or so. Uh, the green is from the surficants that come in the uh, in that drain cleaner, and it's really nothing. Now it's just gonna, they're gonna stain this bin, but it's no no big deal. I use this I use this bin for this all the time. You can now start to hear a little uh, bubbling or foaming or whatever you may want to call it. As you can see, the blue is starting to come off already. You see the streaking? Just leave it in there. Okay, it's been about another two and a half, three minutes. You can see some good reactions going on here. Yeah, as you can see, the stem is now a streaky, faded blue. Dropout savers are coming along. There we go. The red's almost gone, or the pink, I should really say. Here's the front of the stem. It's now getting a little blackish. It's going to have some heat. So, what happens when you rub it off? It's almost perfect, almost done. The little crevices take a little bit longer. I'm 
move everything around. This thing is almost done. You can see just a little bit of blue. You can see the smoke coming off. It's got some heat to it now. Um, yeah, water's probably up to about 110 or so. And just for a little background, I worked in a plating shop for about 10 or 15 years. So I've done this many, many, many times. Stem, you can start to see. Almost done. You can see some some is left. It's okay to wipe it off like I'm doing now. Take some of the black is what we call smut. Take some of the smut off. You can't see me. So here's the stem, just got a little bit more to go. Okay, I'm gonna pull out the C post. I'm gonna give you a remove over here. So you just got a toothbrush. Pretty simple. Give it a wipe down. So the toothbrush with actually a little bit of the solution, just be very careful. Everything will need to be polished, but you do get all your anal off. And you can see the smut coming off now. Really, you just want to make sure it's not about getting the smut off, it's making sure all the anno is off, all the color is off. This thing was laser printed with a barracuda, and that's staying on, which is fine by me. does have a little color. Just a little bit. So get it real good. And then I'm gonna drop it back in. back in. It's the front part of the stem. It's black, full of smut.
take it off of this. Ah, this is done. This will be ready for polish. And then I'm going to rinse it thoroughly in water. So I'm going to rinse it. Okay, so I just pulled out everything. And as you can see, the seat post is smoking still. The laser etching is still there. Um, all the color is gone. So word to the wise, the longer you let this sit and dry before you try and wipe off all the black, the harder it is to wipe off. So you can do one of two things. You can get, a, a, you can get it under some warm water, use a brush like I use, or you can dip it right back into the solution and then take one piece out at a time and wipe it off. So I'm going to do that. I'll be back. And I'll do a little bit of polishing on the seat post real quick just to show you how much or how little sanding you may want to do. All right, I'm back. Cleaned off this real quick. So I got cordless drill, polishing wheel, white compound. Quick and easy, very simple. There you go. So if you want a mirror polish, I'd probably hit it with some 800 and then work my way up to 1500. Or if you want a little bit less polish, just like this, you can just go for it. That's pretty much it. Just make sure you rinse everything off. Solution can be dumped right into the, right into the sink. Obviously it's a, it's a drain cleaner, so have fun. And just be careful, make sure you wear your gloves, ventilated area. I'm inside, but I got my fan on, my door's open, and stuff like that. All right, y'all have a good one, man.